Hello. Conditioning your mind to become an alchemical um, practitioner to practice alchemy takes a while because, like I said in the last video, it takes you actually forming um, belief and you need to make that strong in yourself and be strong in your belief of your own self. Um, and the reason why I painted my face mostly white today, tonight, is because I wanted to introduce you all to a little bit more of a controversial, in some aspects, method of manifesting through the use of a tool. And I need a blank canvas, so we're going to do it this way. So, um, some people can get straight to the source. Some people need some symbology, and no matter what symbols are always helpful because before there were you know before there was written symbolic extensive um language with letters there was just symbols think of hieroglyphics and stuff like that that's really you know old kind of alphabet but you can also think of a symbol as in very powerful even today think of simple one mcdonald's sign uh it's just the shape of a m and it's yellow and uh you see it and you have an association with it if you grew up that way i know there's probably some people who didn't grow up that way now which is great and i actually didn't my mom and my mom was um weirdly cool like that but i i still know what that is by my own choice when i got a little older and so when you see that it creates a reaction in your mind that oftentimes if you have an association with it if anybody studies psychology i mean you know this association thing is so strong smells and and anything really but definitely visual symbols for those who can see and it uh i mean they do it with dogs you know they can they can train a dog to associate um his hunger for food with a color just by um the association um they you know they put him through some tests and they uh whatever the word is where you you know um you practice so this this technique is actually one that you can use with a few different method, methods, but a strong one would be to um, reinforce this manifestation technique with sex. And I suggest, um, you know, masturbation or something um, with a partner whom the sexual energy is neutral and there isn't like craziness. You don't want it to be, you don't, you know, you know when they say be careful what you wish for you know you need to remember that and remember that you need like a neutral ground like a, you know a canvas so what we're going to do is um we're going to create a transmutation of my will my thought which became a written will um into a a, manis a manifestation that will go out there and and um and come back to me like a boomerang. Now, like I said, I'm doing. I, I'm introducing this because I, I realize that programming your mind to become a manifester with just your thoughts. That's that's what we aim to do. But sometimes we got to build up in certain little ways. And when we see manifestation happen through other tools and techniques, then um, it gets us excited and we have more belief in ourselves. Um, and for so you know, turn off this video if there's any underage people but for uh you know the, the appropriately aged person um you can use this pretty conveniently and it's a good way to make use of your time uh, especially you know if you're going to do it anyway <laughs> so here's my sentence and i'll explain to you why i've circled letters and crossed them out my sentence is it is my will i receive a free dinner offer tonight and i'm going to add the date because i actually sort of believe in numbers are symbols and are probably one of the most powerful symbol and thing ever i love numerology so i'll put the date down um yeah 
So what I'm going to do um, is make a symbol. Now, there's a term called sigil. Now, I believe it's called sigil. I don't really know why exactly, but I'm going to wing it and guess. That's how I'm going to do my whole show forever and ever, so you might as well get used to it. Um, just because it, uh, it, is, it is, we're going to make all these letters, not all of them, but the, the consonants, and only one of each, not all the repeating. We're going to make them into a symbol, and I think the association between, you know, using it as a sigil, a plaque, a, you know, some people call things logos, or there's a bunch of different, you know, terms for it. What I've done is I have omitted all the vowels, okay? I have circled the consonants, but if there is a T here, and then I see a T down here, you know, I'm not going to circle the second T. I'm going to cross that one off. I only need one of the consonants. And you need only consonants. You can decide, it's up to you, whether you want a Y to be considered a consonant or not. That's up to you, depending on how you use it. Um, I add the date. That's up to you as well. I like numbers, but you don't have to. This is really subjective and really simple, and you can do it however you want to do it. There's just a few key ingredient things that need to be done. One is make the symbol. Now, when you're making it, you're going to draw it, and it's really clever to... Um, uh, while you're making it, which is kind of just making a combination of all the letters, um, it's very clever to notice when maybe say, oh, an M, I have an M and a W, so really if I turn it upside down and around, an M is a W, so I don't need to use, I don't need to put another M or a W, I just put one, one M or, you know, one of those shapes. So really that's all you need to use because your brain as it looks at it with the association, you know, I can't, I don't know exactly how it works, but I do know that, you know, your brain already sees it because if you're talking, if you see it and you're talking about it, you do see it, you know? <clears throat> so here I've got a T and as I go along, I'll cross them off, you know, so I know which ones I've gotten out of the way. <clears throat> Obviously, again, looking to make sure that I don't have to repeat too much because really you want to save some space. You don't want, I mean, you could do whatever you want, but you want it to be uh, more crisp and more um, recognizable, less messy because the more strongly it comes out. Um, in one of my last videos, I talked about um, eliminating extraneous words, which is something I don't do in the videos yet, but I, I think that's really powerful. It, it, conveys a more powerful message. So try and do that. And then, you know, just kind of, I'm going to show you what this looks like after I'm done. I should have done this, but whatever. And, um, and then after this, what we're going to do is we're going to need to charge this symbol. That is probably second to making it the most important part. Now, the reason why charging the sigil or symbol is extremely important is because that is what kind of gives it gives it its life. And when I say it, I'm still talking in general about you. It's really just you in your head. But creating these kind of symbolic bridges to places that are um, more difficult to get to straight with your head, you know, it helps, it helps reinforce um, the belief and, and your mind, you know, your conscious mind might be able to believe you, but, or, or vice versa this way this, th that this goes, but subconscious conscious, they're, they're kind of working against each other in ways for good reasons, but you really need to get them kind of in in line to be able to perform alchemy and manifestations which will change your life to the fullest degree. So I think I've got about mm -hmm. I think I've got about exactly what I need. Uh-huh. 
despite, again, like I say, it really is mostly about me making something that is visible that I can look at while I, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to let you guys do that part if you want to, but the, the other technique to, you know, if you don't want to masturbate, I'm not going to tell you my preference, but I do find it a little bit, um, I don't know. I don't know. I think that uh, it is a darker part of the um, of magic, and it, it, I'm not saying that this practice is black or bad, but it's a, it's a darker level, and so not everybody is comfortable with this. So other ways that you can charge it, meditation. Now, if you're like me and you meditate but in a kind of non-traditional way, meaning you... You, you just do your own thing with your breath and blah, 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 blah. Well, you can do that. Or um, I do definitely would try and get myself sometimes worked up to a, a breathing, like, you know, because that creates an energy um, system in your body. In fact, uh, I'd like to point out that in Emerald Tablets, one of the keys to... To magic is, or actually, it's a key to transmuting your energy when you're when you feel that you're being consumed with hatred or darkness, and they actually teach you a technique of uh, alternating your breaths between an even count and an odd count till you get to just even. Um, and and filling your mind with this certain i mean i'm telling you this alche alchemical process um of you know transmutation of your energy and your your thoughts is really really very simple it just takes practice so you know you're just breathing and you're thinking of something in particular and and it changes you know it, it changes your blood flow so your organs start doing different things if your mind's pressing it down into this condensed space it's all working together so i usually do some kind of breathing thing but you could also go on a run and running is i mean or exercise you know something that cardiovascular that kind of gets you up or yoga you can do that too um that exercise running is an incredible uh transmuter of energy <laughs> um it's amazing. So is singing. So you can do whatever really raises your your energy. And what you want to do, I'm going to flip back to the sexual nature part. So sexual technique, let's pretend that's what's going on because it's easier to describe this. Is you're going to take this and, and you don't want to leave it hanging around for a while. You want to make it in, and then um, charge it and then destroy it, which is the last, you know, portion of the step. So, say you're masturbating and you are about to climax, you're about to orgasm. You, and the whole time you've got this in a place where you can see it pretty good and you can look at it during or you can look at it just at the end, just what you feel comfortable with. Just get ready to really focus on it. Whatever you're doing, sex, whatever, but say you are masturbating, right at your climax, you're going to want to look directly at that kind of funny thing and 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 be you know focused maybe with no thoughts or if your thoughts are just like charge charge and you want to and then you're like you know you that you feel that flood of release of emotions you know if you're panting and whatever then you you just get to the point where you're done and you just look at it and you release the emotions and it goes into the sigil and after that is kind of the fun part now i add my own step i i I really condone, no matter what you do, all the information you gather out there, do it the way that feels right to you in your self. If something is, you want to change it a little bit, do it if it feels right. Just tweak it a little bit. Do it for the good. Do it for the love, not the hate, not the evil. But um, don't take everything for face value. Don't do everything by the book. I I don't even do what I just said. <laughs> you know. All right. So we do this. Um. So you're going to. I like to add in a little um, thank you, thank you, and go off and do my bidding, and I give you thanks and be as quick as you can. Oh, there is one more step after this. So here's the um, part that you definitely don't do indoors, and you don't. You know, you do nowhere. Nowhere indoors. And in fact, 
you don't have to destroy it this way. You can, um, you can rip it up and eat it, or you can put it into, you know, light it on fire. I have a very, very safe thing. Be safe. Be safe out there. Nobody wants to start fires. Um, really bad fires this year where I live. Okay, I'm going to put this by my window. Um, because I, you know, don't set off your fire alarms. <laughs> Talk to yourself. Don't be afraid to get weird. Safety first. And um, remember that if you will it, there's a way. Where's the will? In your belief. How do you believe? Start loving yourself. Believe in yourself. Love in yourself any way that you can. Paint your face every day. Um... Do that thing you want to do, you know, dance on your bed and scream and cry, do whatever you need to do to get yourself relaxed enough with yourself, because that's the only way that you're going to start manifesting and becoming the alchemist in the fuller sense is to embrace yourself. And that's the only way that this this generation and this next generation, this world is going to change is if the people unite as alchemists and are able to define their own futures. In the meantime, thank you. Much love.